My name is Layla, and we're back with another episode of Baking with Layla, but this time it's holiday special, and I have a guest. Her name is Harper the Elf. Hi! Alright, so first we're going to go over the first steps. So you need to preheat your oven to 400 degrees, and you need to get a baking pan and cover it with parchment paper. Once you've done that, we will go over your ingredients. So first, you need 10 Hershey's Kisses. Second, you need one fourth of salted butter or half. Then, you need two tablespoons of powdered sugar. Then you need one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Then you're going to need a half a cup plus one tablespoon of flour. So, the first thing we are going to do, we're going to move all of this out of the way. And can you count up 10 Hershey's Kisses for me? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Alright, that's perfect. And then maybe one for me and you later. <laughs> Alright, so. The next thing we are going to do is unwrap... So you'll get five, and I'll get five, and we're gonna, we're gonna unwrap these. Once you're done unwrapping your kisses, you're gonna get your stick of butter, and you're gonna cut it right in half, and make sure not to cut your finger. So what you're going to do is you're going to put it in a microwave safe bowl and you're going to soften your butter and I will teach you how to soften butter. Okay, so we're going to put it in this microwave safe bowl and we're going to come over to the microwave. I like to start doing it with five seconds and then checking on it to see if it's softened. And you're going to want to repeat this process not until it's liquid but just until it's soft. Between five and 10 seconds is good. 10 seconds will speed up the process, but I think it's easier just to do it. Four, five. After this, it's gonna be melted because this. Okay, this is what your butter should look like. Some of it's liquid and some of it's kind of melted. All right, now we're going to get a medium-sized bowl, which we so happen to have right here. So you're gonna put your butter in. Okay. Do you need a spoon? <laughs> oh. Right. Okay, so we have our butter. Looks very appealing. So once you have put the butter in the bowl, you're going to get your vanilla extract and put one teaspoon in. Make sure to be very careful. All right. Now we're going. All right. I'm gonna put this up so we don't spill it. Now we are going to measure up our powdered sugar, which is two tablespoons. So this is a tablespoon, and we're gonna need two of them. You're gonna make you wanna make sure this is nice and flat, and if there are chunks, just make sure to get it. So one. Just trying to make sure it's flat. So we have just two. So now this is what we have. Now we are going to bring it over to the hand mixer, and Harper and I will take turns. looks pretty creamy, but we might want to mix it for just around 30 more seconds. All right. This looks good. This is what it should look like. Now, I am going to check off. If you have a recipe 
that's pretty long, you might want to check it off just to help your brain like understand what you've already done. All right, so now we need half cup and one tablespoon of flour. So we have our half cup right here and we have our flour. I'm going to get a spoon so I can measure it out. Okay. It's a spoonful. Okay, so now we need our one tablespoon. So, again, we're using our tablespoon again, but we put our powdered sugar in. So, I'm just gonna, we did a, I'm gonna put it like a little below because we did a little much on the cup. Okay, so we're gonna check this off. Now we're gonna beat it until it turns into one big thing of dough. This is how your dough should look. It's okay if they're a bit crumbly because you're just about to smush them back. All right, so now what we need to do, we need to take as much dough as 10 will make. So you'll take about a little more than this, like that. Maybe a little more, like this is good. And you're gonna want to leave enough to make 10. All right, so you're gonna roll it into a ball. You might wanna take a little bit more. No, wait, that's good, that's good. Now just roll it into a ball. And we put flour on our hands so it doesn't stick so much. Okay, so once you've made your ball, it doesn't have to be perfect because you're just gonna smush it anyway. All right, now you're gonna smush it down with your hands. So now you're gonna put, you're gonna take a Hershey's Kiss. You might wanna smush it a little more. You're gonna take a Hershey's Kiss and plant it right in the center. And you're gonna wanna cover it with the dough. You're gonna want to try to make sure that none of the chocolate can be seen. It's okay if a tiny bit can. Kind of just put it. I'm kind of rolling mine. It's okay. A little bit of the chocolate is sticking out. You want some out? you start making another ball. So, that's our example. And we will each get four more. All right, we're gonna repeat until 10. You, want, you might wanna make your, I'm gonna call it a pancake, a little bit bigger next time. Okay. You're just really gonna wanna cover it up. Doesn't matter how pretty it looks. We're gonna make one more because we have some extra dough. Right. Oh no, tip fell off. I saw you eat the dough. <laughs> she failed at sneaking some of the Hershey kiss. Oh, yep. All right. So, the next thing we are going to do is we are going to put them on the pan. So, you kind of want to space them out. All right. 
we can fit another row in here. Just kind of spread them out. And now we are going to put them in the oven for 9 to 11 minutes or just when you see that kind of the tips of the cookies are light brown. So I'm going to stick these in the oven. Make sure not to burn. And you kind of fell in between. Don't know. We will be back in 9 to 11 minutes. Bye. While you're waiting for your cookies to bake, it's a perfect time to decorate your tree. Action. If you check on the cookies, the bottom is light brown, but we're going to want to wait a few more minutes just because the dough on the top doesn't look quite ready. All right. It's time to take out the cookies. We are going to wait for them to cool, but not so they're cold, just so they're warm. But while we're doing that, we're going to fill our bowl up with some powdered sugar. You're gonna put one half cup of powdered cup of powdered sugar. Alrighty. Just gonna make sure. All right, that's enough. So while we're waiting for the cookies to bake, I'm going to kind of explain what you're going to do with the powdered sugar in the first place. So once they're warm and they're cool enough to handle so you're not burning your hands, you're going to cover them in some powdered sugar, just like roll all of it through, and then it's time to eat your cookies. We're back and we're rolling the cookies. This is what they should look like. We're going to place them on our festive tray. All right, these look really, really good. And I am so excited to eat them. Are you, Harper? Yes. They're still kind of hot, so they're kind of burning my fingers just a little bit though. But I mean, if they're not too hot for you to hold, like, like if you can hold them for a while, the powdered sugar will like cool them off because and the powdered sugar sticking to my fingers. All right. Just a few more left. Oh, that's a good way of doing it. Just sprinkling it on. It's really smart. <laughs> and we can go back and sprinkle a little bit on some of the cookies that we kind of missed. Some of them are really sad with powdered sugar. Ooh, it looks like snow. They are like snowballs. All right, we'll be back when they're ready to eat. Bye. These are really good. <laughs> See you next time with Baking with Layla. Bye! Baking with Layla is a Bertha May production hosted by me, Layla McCann-Sabbitt, production assistant and guest is Harper McCann-Sabbitt, camera person and editor is Mama Mac. Bye! Thanks for watching!